best Central Florida short sales. My name is Eric Mieles. Hope everybody's having a great and productive week. I can't believe how time's flying. Today's already Thursday, I believe. Incredible. And it's September. So, uh, incredible. I hope everybody's had a great year so far. Um, hope you're looking forward to some exciting things as the holidays near. Anyway, let's get into today's show. Got a couple of new short sales that just hit the market. Want to bring it to you guys first, as they always do. First one in Lakes of Windermere. Beautiful community. Four bedroom. Two and a half bath. 3,023 square feet short sale, built in 2003, first day on the market, listed for $239,000 by Dale Mark of Premier Realty Partners. Second one, Oaks at Cypress Woods, four bedroom, two bath, 1,774 square feet, short sale, built in 1997, listed for $129,000 by Lorena Ortega of International Realty International Professional Realty Inc. I'm sorry, excuse me. Third one, Brighton Lakes, beautiful community off of Pleasant Hill Road in Kissimmee, four bedroom, three bath, 2,221 square feet, short sale, built in 2004, three days on the market, listed for $165,000 by Alex Vasquez. Alex, looking forward to talking with you. We had a great conversation last week. Um, next one, Eagle Lake, this is a beautiful community as well off of Pleasant Hill Road. Four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,399 square feet, short sale, built in 2007, one day on the market. First, this is a beautiful house, listed for $139,000 by Maritza Nieves of Sunstar Realty. Uh, almost done. Victoria Pines, beautiful town home, uh, right off of Curry Ford Road in Dean, beautiful community, uh, bordering next to um, Andover Lakes which then hits over into um, Avalon Park and, and Alafaya Trail and Waterford Lake. So it's a really, really pretty area to live. Two bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,071 square feet, short sale, built in 2005, listed for only, get this, $57,000. It's incredible. Uh, listed by Lynn Fuentes of Realty Group Specialist, LLC. And the last one, Park North at Cheney, beautiful downtown Orlando, a place where lots of people want to live. This is a condo, one bedroom, one bath, 645 square feet, short sale, built in 2000, listed for $54,900, only two days on the market, listed by Evelyn Portolan of Right Choice Realty. And there you go, today's short sales coming to you first. You know I bring them to you. Um, and there you go. So any buyers, you're interested, please, you know you can always contact me right there. I'll guide you and put you in the right direction to learn more about these short sales. Um, today's message, as I always do, I always leave a little tip, whether it's news, whether it's something regarding short sales, or the market, or the community, brokers, realtors, buyers, sellers, whatever it may be, anything that I can do to share and spread information, impact our community for the better. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about very, very basic. I do have sellers or people that are in distress that watch the show. They send me an email. They ask me a couple questions. So again, I want to go over um, the short sale package. Just a couple of basic things. If you're out there watching the show, if you know somebody who's in distress, doesn't know what a short sale is, what it entails, um, there's a couple basic documents that need to be collected in order to have a full short sale package. This package is what we utilize to send to the bank to verify your hardship or potential hardship that may occur that you are delinquent on your loan and we are requesting a short sale to be done and approved by the investor of the loan so they can let you out from where you're at currently, at current market value, rather than going through the lengthy process of foreclosure, okay? And in order to do that, we have to compile some documents to prove what we need to prove and submit. Um, so a couple key things, just key basic things, because a lot of you will wonder, why are you asking me for this sensitive information? Why do I need to provide this? Why do you keep calling me to provide updated statements? It's very, very important. So here we go. First and foremost, we like to have a mortgage statement. We like to verify the loan number. You may have one, two home equity lines. You may have two loans on the property. Please present and have your mortgage statement so we can see the loan number, the bank that the loan is with, things like that. A hardship letter. Hardship letter is basically, in your own words, a brief synopsis of what happened. 
what was it that took place in your life that is preventing you or may prevent you from falling delinquent on your loan? What's happened? Was it an illness? Were you laid off from work? Did you have a decrease in pay? Um, are you going through a divorce? Are you separated? Did you start the loan with two parties, the other person left, and now it's just a one single household? I don't know, but whatever it is, you want to write in your own words, you want to briefly state it, okay, and you want to sign and date it. Very important. You don't want to use a Word document. Anybody can do that on a computer, okay? So, uh, there you go. Hardship letter, very important. Um, proof of income. Proof of income. If you're working, they want to see your last two pay stubs, okay? It has to be the most updated pay stubs. Not last year's pay stubs, not two months ago. The most updated pay stubs that you have. If you're not working, okay, and you're collecting unemployment, then your unemployment statement. If you're not receiving any income whatsoever, then a handwritten letter stating that you're not receiving any income. But also, more importantly, stating how you're living. Okay, you're not deriving any income from anything. Well, how are you maintaining? The bank's going to ask, how are they living? So if someone's contributing to you, someone's giving you money, a family, state that in the letter. Okay? Um, <clears throat> bank statements. Last 60 days bank statements they want to see. Last 60 days bank statements. Easy. Go online, print them out. You have them. You know, make a copy, whatever it is. The last 60 day bank statements. Tax returns. Uh, for now... 2009, 2010, tax returns, okay? If you filed an extension, then give a copy of the extension, okay? Um, authorization letters, very important. The person, your listing agent, your real estate professional, the short sale company, whatever it may be, they're speaking on your behalf. They're negotiating on your behalf. This is sensitive information, and the bank, your bank, will not give information to anybody unless there's a signed authorization letter. Okay, so sign that, date it, giving you authorization to your trusted party to speak on your behalf regarding your loan. Very important. Nothing gets done without that. Can't start. Okay, um, and then a, a couple other pieces of documentation that your real estate professional will provide you with for signatures. For example, the listing agreement. You have the house in the open market. You show the lender you tried marketing this house at market value or even above. And you show the time it took, this is your real estate professional doing this, to get um, a ready, willing, and able buyer. But you're going to have to sign a listing agreement, okay? A short sale addendum. They'll provide that to you as well. Um, you'll be sort of educated and informed, or if they're not educating and inform you, they should, on what HAFA is. HAFA is a government program supposed to, supposed to streamline the short sale process. However, people can agree that's not always the case. But anyway, if, if you are going HAFA to make this very simplified, there's going to be some other docs that you're going to need to provide that will be put in the short sale package. An RMA, Request for Modification Affidavit. Now, many people freak out. They say, hey, listen, why am I signing this modification affidavit? I'm not seeking a loan modification. I know. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it just it's, it's an RMA. It's used, okay? So sign it. Uh, talk with your real estate professional about it, but that's called an RMA. Um, there's a Dodd-Frank that you'll have to sign, a 4506T that you'll have to sign. Um, provide a copy of a utility bill, okay? Um, there you go. So those are some key, key pieces of the short sale package in a very brief overview for you to be better sort of to better understand when you're asked for these documents why you're asked for all this information. I know it's a pain, I know, um, but it is required in order to successfully negotiate a short sale for you so you abide, you avoid foreclosure. Okay, so, uh, you know, access this video if you're seeking out a short sale. These are some of the things. If you have more questions, I'd be happy, happy to point you in the right direction or answer them myself if that's what you request. Um, I, I want to continue to do what I do to help as many people as I can. It's just it's just in me. It's just coming out. It's what I do. Um, but really, let's let's start a movement locally here in Central Florida. Let's inform people. Let's spread the word. Short sale is an option. Let's tell more people about it. And there you go. Okay? So, um, just to wrap up for today's show, buyers out there, if you want more information, please email me right there. I'll send you some uh, information regarding these new short sales that just hit the market or some of these real estate professionals. Sellers, if you want more information, please don't hesitate to email me as well regarding short sales as a foreclosure relief option. 
brokers and realtors out there, um, if you're interested or you want to inquire about uh, short sale processing, which is what I do every single day, I'd be more than happy to talk to you a little bit about that and how we work. Um, also, I'd like everybody to go right there, the Facebook page, please, Broker Realtors, leave listings, leave tips for the consumers, leave your information, whatever it may be, let's create a resource, let's create a community, all uh, talking together on Facebook. I'd love to do that. And then um, I'm real excited tomorrow. That's the cell phone going off. Tomorrow um, I have a great guest. I'm not going to tell you who it is, um, but he's going to be on Ultra Agents Radio, and I'll bring that to you guys, and I'll bring you the link on the next show. Um, so anyway, signing out. Have a great week. Eric Mieles, Ultra Processing TV. Take care.